uh, January 5th, 2021. Uh, we're meeting by the Zoom platform. Eric, would you mind saying the Pledge of Allegiance? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, any public comment? I don't see anybody on here from the public. Has everybody had an opportunity to read the minutes? I have. Motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve as written. And, uh, you have a motion of Bill Paul or Commissioner Paul seconding the motion. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Commissioner comments and committee reports. I really don't have anything to report, but I just uh, want to point out this is Bill's last meeting and want to wish him well. Uh, thank you for your service. Uh, thank way, you. Thank I, you. I hope we don't have a reason to have a meeting. Before that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I would say that, you know, again, Happy New Year. Uh, our rig organization meeting will be held on Monday, uh, January 11th at 12 noon via the Zoom platform. And we'll be doing all our uh, year end, our year beginning uh, organization at that time. Um, that's all I have. Bill, do you have anything else? No. Okay. Well, like I mentioned, I mentioned in workshop, whoever takes my positions, there is a project concern meeting next Wednesday. And there's a correctional Zoom meeting uh, the 21st at 2 o'clock. So whoever gets that position, Michelle will have to set up Rhonda Berry and Jennifer with, uh, or Stephanie, excuse me, Stephanie, with the uh, invite, you know, to the commissioner that gets it. Whoever gets it doesn't gonna have any rest, right? They're going to go right to work. So, go right towards it. Okay. Uh, okay, moving right along. Justin Noll, uh, do you have a contract for the uh, noxious weed from the state? Do you want to go over that? Yes, sir. Um, I received uh, received a, a template uh, contract and as well as a copy of last year's contract. And um, we had uh, last year was a labor cost of $20 per hour for operator and uh, 20, $20 an hour for an operator for, uh, for the first one was the five, 500 gallon roadside sprayer, the, the new spray truck. And then the second one was for the 30 gallon uh, UTV. Um, and those were at uh, a uh, equipment cost of $50 an hour for the five, for the truck and $30 an hour for the UTV. Um, based on our cost of living adjustments and the fringe benefits uh, included with the um, with the position, um, I've upped those labor costs to twenty one fifty an hour, and I've increased the cost of the uh, truck to fifty five dollars an hour and thirty five dollars an hour for the uh, thirty gallon UTV, and there's nowhere for you to sign as was indicated this morning. But uh, it does state um, under section uh, number 11 that uh, the, 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 uh, below, actually, below section 11 at the right, right above the Secretary of Transportation's signature line is, uh, is officially adopted by the Board of County Commissioners and recorded in the official records of the proceedings of said board. So um, I've come to you today to ask for approval on that. Um, if those rates seem reasonable, I've um, spent a little bit of time trying to get a get an accurate rate anyway. Yes, sir, Mr. Paul. Didn't you quote that it was $58 an hour for the truck and now it is 55? No, it was 50 previously. Oh, okay. I thought you said yep. 58. Okay. No, it was 50. And actually I, I, uh, had that mistaken on the, on the 30 gallon was $34 an hour previously. And I've upped it to 35. 
have these figures been approved by the state or, or is that I have, no they have not this was for the submittal to the state once approved okay by just this is the submittal okay yes sir justin i may have caused some uh confusion this morning because i'm looking at this contract has already been signed that's last year's contract that's correct yeah and then I, I believe there's, I a place, you. there's a place for the chairman to sign this document the only problem is the document i got from you is blank huh so okay you'll need, you'll need to scan it in and send it to me to sign okay uh, i was a little confused by that i don't know why i'm getting blank documents from you. i think you scan it i'll receive it properly okay i will do that <clears throat> The chair would entertain a motion to approve the uh, Noxious Week contract for the state of Kansas, effective January 1st, 2021. Do I have a motion? So move. It's been moved by Commissioner Dole, seconded by Commissioner Paul. All in any further discussion? Hearing now, I assume you're ready to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Okay. Um, any new business before the board? I, I got a question for Justin. Uh, when does the uh, the bid go out for the uh, spray? Um, that I need to put together. Okay, um, I'm thinking I'll, that we're it's it's getting time. So, and and to be honest, we just uh, we just inventoried all of the chemicals um, as those. Because we had some at the at the noxious weed building in Effingham, and then we had some in the uh, Connex box <clears throat> outside the shop here. So before it froze, we moved everything over to emergency management building or the the recycling center building, excuse me, um, until the EMS completed their renovations in Effingham, and then just recently we moved it over to Effingham um, and inventoried everything. And honestly. I don't, <clears throat> I'm not fully aware of, <clears throat> gosh, frog in my throat, excuse me, uh, not fully aware of what was done in the past as far as uh, how the ordering was was done or what quantities were, you know, what what determination was made as to order what quantity or volume of, of chemicals, but um, we have a pretty substantial inventory already. So I honestly don't anticipate ordering that m very much chemical at all this year, because I, I believe we have enough to probably cover based on sales that were completed since I've been here in May. Um, we, I, I think we have plenty of volume for next year, to be honest, maybe, maybe one or two items, but. I probably would not base my, um, that on last year, since this last year was such a strange year and the first year that it was moved into Atchison uh, with the COVID. I think, uh, you know, people kind of stayed away from as many businesses as could as they could. So I would probably try to look at past history before 2020 and I, I'd get a base on, on what was being sold before that. Okay. It, it seems like that, uh, it seems like that I, I, I'm not sure, I guess what was done previously if, if any inventory was actually tallied before the order was made. It seems like that it was just based on the previous year, what we ordered and they ordered the same amount every year, just based on the, how much we have available. I don't know what's been done in the past. Justin, I would make a com two comments. One, Eric's hundred percent right. That we should look at what we've been used over maybe the last couple of years to give us a place. Uh, I've always felt like we carried over way too much inventory and I don't disagree with that. I think it'd be nice to have an agreement with a supplier, whether it's the bid press or whatever, if they would fill in at the same price if we needed it. But I think we buy too much inventory and I assume it has expiration date like any other chemical. So I think we'd be best served to exactly Eric said, see what we sold over the last couple of years. Make sure we have that much on hand and then buy a quarter of us. Okay. I think that'd be the way to head, head out of that. So. Okay. We'll do. Okay. Anything else? 
No, sir. That's it. All I had today. Thank you. Thank you. Best, uh, best wishes in your retirement, sir. Thank you. Keep up the good you. work. Will do. Thank you. Um, any other new business? I don't think we have any. Uh, old business before the board. County Councilor Upkins. Uh, I did file one nuisance case uh, um, involving the, the uh, garrison property. And uh, so I'll, I'll let you know how, uh, how that progresses. Uh, other than that, uh, just uh, thank you to Bill and I, uh, I've enjoyed working with you. So thank you. Thank you. On that case there, I think that's more of a neighbor fighting against a neighbor. Yes, it could be better than what it is, but we got several places look, that look worse than the garrison property. My well, opinion. There, there are significant violations of the nuisance resolution at that property. That's for sure. Um, I'm not, I, I, I don't dispute that there might be some ulterior motives driving things but uh, there definitely are violations there. So is this the property when you're going towards the old hilltop? Yes. Yes. I was by there the other day. It's a disaster. Yeah, and it's, it's getting worse. Yeah, it's a disaster. So hopefully we can get some of those cleaned up. And uh, you, know, you gotta be a good neighbor. You know, and I, I may not have addressed it here. The uh, there had been property out on Country Club Road that had been a significant source of complaints as well, and that property has been cleaned up significantly, I, I, satisfactorily, I guess I would say, by by the landowner. So we, you know, we do have a few successes along the way. Yes, that is a big improvement. Okay, anything else, Pat? Uh, no, that's all I have. Um, public comment, we don't have any public here. Any commissioners want to make any more comments? Oh. Other than, uh, good luck to Bill. Uh, yes. We're going to meet this meeting with you. Uh, do you have something else? Uh, yeah, Jack, I, I forgot to, to add, we are meeting. Um, next week at on a, the different day and an unusual time. And that's because of the annual uh, or the, yeah, the organizational meeting um, is set for Monday instead of on Tuesday. So we're meeting Monday at noon instead of the regular time on Tuesday. Will the chair entertain a motion to adjourn at 1.13 p.m.? Bill, you want to make the final motion? I so move. I'll second that. Good luck, Bill. It's been moved by Commissioner Paul, uh, seconded by Commissioner Noll. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I assume you're ready to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Au revoir.